Hello and welcome to The Green Room. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Susie and we're so glad you joined us this morning. And we're glad to be joined by the Blackwood Quartet. They have been making music since 1934, the Blackwood Quartet has. and I wasn't with that group. But he wasn't with the original group, but we have Mark and Ron with us today. And yes, glad to be here. And uh, good to have you guys. Thank you, Jonathan. Glad to have Susie. you. Could you tell us, when in life did your passion for gospel music, you know, when did you discover that? Well, the Blackwood Brothers was started by our grandfather, Roy Blackwood, in 1934. And so he's a second generation. I'm a third generation of gospel singers. My dad used to say all the time he knew what he wanted to be was either a preacher or a gospel singer. It was different for me. I always wanted to be a gospel singer because I wanted to be like my dad and like my uncles and my grandfather. And the Lord gave us his work and he's blessed us all down through the years. And we're grateful for it. That's awesome. Can you tell us about your involvement with it? Well, my daddy was the original member of the Blackwood Brothers, yeah. and y'all are so young, this is going to be foreign to you, but the Blackwoods were very blessed, and was, when I was a young boy, seeing my daddy on Arthur Godfrey television with the McGuire sisters and all these pop singers. and 54. It's 1954, because he was killed in a plane crash in uh, 1954. In fact, we we're celebrating uh, in Montgomery, Alabama in just a few weeks at the uh, Fraser uh, United Methodist Church, the memorial concert. My daddy was killed in a plane crash there. In fact, that's the t-shirt there that's about it and everything. Yeah. Advertisement, you know. But uh, watching them and watching their lives and what the impact they made upon people's lives, I wanted one day to be a part of that. Well, I wasn't the greatest singer, like Mark's a good oh, singer. I was, I had to end up being the, the business manager and making decisions, and that way I could make decisions to let me sing whether he want me okay, to or there not. You go. So there about 40-something years, I was with the Blackwoods, yeah. and uh, God's good. We got a lot of our, in our family, but it's just reaching people in a dying, hurting world yeah. with the gospel. Uh, Ron or Mark, either of you, is there something on either of your hearts that you'd like to share today with our viewers just to encourage them? I'd like to tell you something just a little bit, but Mark, next, I've been through, uh, as I look, we all have problems, but I'm going to tell you something. If you ever looked up at the bottom, then you know you're below the bottom. But I can tell you no matter how low you go, I had to remove myself with all the talent and all the ability that God gave me. I had to remove myself and completely put my trust in Him. When I'd done that, that's when my life turned around. And I'm telling you, if you're looking or hearing today, don't ever give up. You've heard this before, but the story's the same. Jesus Christ is your answer. Thank you so much for sharing your family story and talking with us today. It's great. Good thank to be you, here. Susie. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank, thank you. you. And congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I say boy. Oh, great. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Tw twins. Twins? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I got twins. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. And you have twins, too. Yes, I did. I have four year old. Mine are 17 year old really hitter boys. My wife, Shelly Lane Blackwood. And, um, we got, uh, we just got kids wall to wall. <laughs> wow, there you go. that's awesome! There you go. And thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again on the green room. Bye bye.